completed bathroom project. We just finished up doing the styling and the photo shoot. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how neutral does not have to mean boring. This project is a little bit different for us. You were used to seeing a lot of bold color, black and whites, uh, a lot of saturated colors and patterns and textures. Well, this client wanted something that was a bit different. They wanted a retreat, something that was light and bright and relaxing. At first, we were a little bit worried if we were gonna be able to pull off our signature style and still use a lot of neutrals in this bathroom. And we are so happy with how it came out. A couple of ways that we pulled off this bathroom and made it feel completely beautiful and really interesting and still neutral are one, using a variety of finishes. So we've talked to you a lot about mixing metals and how to do that accurately. This project is a great example of how to do that. Some of our finishes, like the plumbing fixtures, are a a bright and shiny chrome making it feel really modern and clean and contemporary and some of our finishes like our lighting and decorative hardware are a brushed brass so really allowing a lot of layering to happen in this project and create visual interest without necessarily providing a lot of color or intense um, saturated color or pattern the second way that we did that pulled off like a neutral bathroom is layering of texture. So you'll notice there's a lot of different tiles and finishes that happen in here, all kind of within that same monochromatic scheme. On the floor, we've got a diamond-shaped cream tile, so that also creates a lot of interest, but it's a larger scale, so again, feels a little bit more modern and contemporary. In the shower floor, we kind of duplicate that geometric pattern, but something that's slightly more mosaic-like, a little bit more decorative, and brings in a bit of color. So this light blue and kind of gray sage color that you see throughout um, is duplicated in the shower floor. On the walls, we went for a tile that is a cream, but is also has a ton of variation between tile. So you can kind of see that the tile changes and it reads as a really interesting and beautiful texture. We opted to do that in a straight stack versus an offset, which might um, be expected of a subway size tile to help kind of streamline some of the geometric shapes and the busyness of a lot of different tile and grout lines. Um, on top of that, we opted for a great marble look quartz to make the texture even more defined. So we had thought about potentially using a, a flat white, um, but instead opted for something with a lot more movement and pattern because we don't have a lot of color, so we're bringing in interest through texture. Uh, the last way that we brought interest and just great design elements into this space is using touches of warm wood details. We have a great clean line, hardware-less teak vanity, and we custom made a few other elements to match the vanity to bring those elements of warm wood throughout and also create balance. So we've got a small ledge over the freestanding tub that acts as a great place to add, um, to set your toiletries and different things you might need in the tub. And then we also created this really awesome um, alcove above the toilet. So we had to bump the wall out to conceal the plumbing. And so we really took that as an opportunity to add a design element above the toilet. Come with me and I'll show you.